Hey everybody, I hope you're doing well today. Welcome to my banjo workshop. You can hear people in the background because we're in a workshop and uh, yeah, they're in there playing a heated battle of battleship. Heated battle of battleship, yeah. Amber and her grandma are playing. So what we're gonna do is, um, we're going to take down the action a little bit on this banjo. I've got the moon bridge on there and um, there's nothing wrong with the bridge, nothing wrong with the banjo, but I like my action to be a certain height. So I'm going to show you a quick and easy way how to take the action down carefully and slowly without messing anything up, okay? In my private banjo workshop. <laughs> okay, let me turn the camera around and we'll get started. Okay, so our action height here um, gets higher as we go down the fretboard. And I like to take mine down a little bit. Let's see how. So what I'm gonna do is show you how to do this. Okay, things we're gonna need. You need your gear shirt. <laughs> no. <laughs> you need a Sharpie. You need your original or just another bridge need a piece of sandpaper. This is a uh, 120 grit and that's what you need to do this. You need a flat surface also, okay? So the first step is to remove the bridge that's on it, okay? Now when we when we take down a bridge we want to be very careful because there's not much meat down there uh, and you have to be careful. So the first thing I'm going to do is Take the bridge off. So I do that by taking my old bridge and just putting it up in front. Just put it up in front of the new bridge there, right? That way it's going to hold up. The strings popped into the. That's the way it's going to hold up the strings as we take this bridge and bend it and get it out of there. See how I just took that out real easily. Now you can take the time, you can loosen all your strings a lot and do that. Uh, that's fine. I didn't do that on this one, but that's fine. Okay, so now I have my bridge out. Now let me move this banjo. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to get this bridge, okay, and we want to take our sharpie and we want to just put a small, just want to cover the whole foot, I yeah, covered one foot with marker. Okay, so we just cover the whole foot with marker. And you can see it's just barely in there. Okay, that will make sure that we're going to just take it off in a small increment. Then we're going to get on our flat surface. I'm going to move the camera again. Okay, so you can see my flat surface here. Um, so we're just going to get on this flat surface with our bridge and just carefully rub back and forth. Very light pressure, not a lot. And um, you'll see the black coming off onto your sandpaper there. And uh, you can see here that it's getting less dark. Just putting even pressure down and I'm checking a lot to make sure. Now it looks like, don't know if you're going to be able to see this or not. It looks like this is uh, lighter than this back here. So I'm just going to put down a little bit more pressure on the back. Until I get it even. And just taking off, 
taking off that Sharpie marker in a small increment. Not pressing down hard, just carefully and slowly doing that. Now you can do this with any bridge. It's obviously a little bit more challenging on a curved bridge. But if you don't want to adjust your neck, a lot of times you can just take your action down by taking down the bridge a little bit, okay? All right, so I'm gonna go right there. I've just got a really light gray, okay? Um, on every foot, just a little bit of light gray. Okay, so I only took it down a tiny little bit, all right? Let me move the camera back up. I'm gonna put the moon bridge back on. Now, I want you to keep in mind that when you do this, you wanna do it in very small increments. That's why I did the Sharpie marker. Okay, you can overdo this very quickly. So that's the reason I do it like this. I take it down a small increment, put it back on the banjo, play it like that for several days, okay? I won't automatically go back and just sand it some more. I'll take several days, see what I think about it, see if I feel like it's enough. Um, then if I need to do it again, I can do it again. And this is, again, small increments. So that way, so we don't mess anything up by going too far. Okay, so let's install this moon bridge back on. Um, this time I'm going to loosen the strings. And I'm only, I'm only really loosening the strings because of the curved nature of this bridge. If it was straight, if it was a straight bridge, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be too concerned about it. But since it's curved and I'm going to be putting pressure on it, pulling it back up, I want to make sure I do that without putting too much pressure on it and break it, uh, split it or anything. All right. So I carefully put the moon bridge back on, reset my strings, and then I can take the other bridge off. Okay. Now, now I just need to tune her up, check my intonation. Uh, I just need to tune her up and check my intonation, and we'll have brought our action down a little bit um, so I hope that you aren't afraid to do this yourself um, it's not it's not that tough okay it just takes five minutes so you can just remove the other bridge quickly and easily doing that step take that marker mark a, a nice little line on it and then carefully sanding it on a flat surface till that marker comes off and then you've lowered your action. All right. I have uh, installed the bridge again and tuned her up and set the uh, bridge distance using my trusty ruler and my tuner to do that. And if you're not sure how to do that, I have a video on bridge placement. But.
Okay, so anyway, yeah, I'm going to play around with this for a couple of days before I uh, adjust it anymore, if I need to, or if I feel the need to. So we want to just make sure we don't go too far with it, okay? But you don't need to be afraid of it. You can work on your own stuff, all right? The thing you don't want to mess with is your neck, okay? You want a little help before you do that because you can mess things up. So that's why we take a cheap part, like a bridge, and adjust it. <laughs> or a nut, you know, things like that to, to adjust our uh, action height. All right. See you next time. All right. I hope you enjoyed that video. Got something out of it. And before I go, I always want to remind you that Jesus loves you. Bye-bye.